Hey friends, good morning and happy Monday. I cannot believe we are one week away from Christmas. Like this season flew by, absolutely flew by. So if I don't say it in another video this week, Merry Christmas to everybody because I am so grateful for you guys and I just love building this channel. So Merry Christmas to you and your family. I am gonna dive into a what sold video Monday morning, it's kind of my jam. And there is one item that I paid four dollars for and it sold for four hundred dollars best flip of the weekend no doubt uh, but i'm going to save that to the end so make sure to stay tuned and let's dive into what sold this weekend on ebay i have 27 orders on ebay three orders on macari combined gross total of pretty close to $2,500 for one weekend. I predict this being the last banger of a weekend for a while because of course next week's gonna be slow. It's all, it's Christmas weekend, New Year's weekend. We'll start picking up again once people start getting tax refunds. Uh, there'll be a little burst of some spending when people get their Christmas money. So there'll be a little bit next weekend, uh, but I don't think it's gonna be like this. This is probably the last killer weekend of Q4 and it's going out with a bang. So let's dive right in, my friends. We've got some great bolos um, and also items that I keep buying and they keep selling. That's kind of the name of the game, right? We want to find the items that will sell over and over and over again. These knives are one of them. These are in my Amazon bins. I got it at $3 day. This is probably the third or fourth one that I found there. And it sells all day long. I sold it for 25 bucks. Uh, but what's funny is I get a message. You tried to send an offer. I counter. He comes back and his, his note said, I'll pay now. Yes, that's kind of what you do when you buy something. You pay now. Like <laughs> It cracks me up that people use that as their bartering tool. I have money now. Cash now. I'll pay now. Well, yes, I kind of expect that. That's not a, a bartering tool. <laughs> all right. We got a bag of Fitbits. These little guys still sell all day long. Um, I think I paid $2 for this bag and it sold for 22 bucks. That was a church rummage sale. Um, we've got a golf club, a Callaway, uh, driver, Are you a driver or a wood? I think that's a driver. Now I'm doubting myself. The so regular flex, pretty sure that's a driver, but it might be kind of small. I'm going to have to research that. I'm I'm stopping myself now. I'm going to research that because I don't know if this is actually a driver or a wood because they are very, very similar. And the 15 degree, help me with my golf friends. If the 15 degree means that it is a driver or a wood. Okay. Anyways, it's sold for $37. I'm going to write them and just confirm that that's the club that they wanted. Uh, we've got a banger right here. These I found for $3 at a church. No, was it a church sale? No, I think it was just a family run estate sale. Um, two of them. First one already sold. And this one sold for $135. It is a Disney store Kugi style. Um, I've sold Kugi sweaters before. They are amazing when you can find them. Um, this one is kind of that flare, that repeated pattern look. Uh, super 90s it's just a really really good looking sweater and amazing condition three dollars into 135. this is another amazing amazing find this was a garage sale i think i paid 20 dollars for this whole set 20 dollars. i couldn't pay fast enough these are ladies callow nope titleist nope tailor made just kidding. Tailor made burner, ladies' clubs, really good condition. Uh, there's a couple that you can see that are more used than the others, but I paid $20 for this whole bundle of clubs, and they sold for $350. Wow. <laughs> so that was another amazing, amazing find. Um, we've got a TIG welder pen, TIG pen for welding. Um, I don't know enough about welding, but that's what it is. You put it into eBay. You can find out what it is. Amazon bins find $3 day sold for 45 bucks. Um, so I always grab just those little things that are coming out in the bins, uh, because a lot of times those are worth more money than the, the big honker items and they don't take up much space. 
We've got an aviation headset. This one I found at Goodwill or Savers in Phoenix. When I went to eBay Open, a friend of mine hit all the thrift stores we could before going to that, and I was getting desperate. I hadn't found anything all day, and I'm like, okay, I gotta find something that makes this trip worth it. And these, I, I overpaid. Um, the condition wasn't the best. It definitely had some wear on the, um, on the headpiece. Uh, but it still sold for $70 and I paid 20 bucks for them. So, uh, did I pay 20? What did I pay for it? Yeah, I paid $20 for it. So that one, uh, trying not to get lost. Okay. We've got spoons. These are the spoons that keep on giving. I probably have made, oh my gosh, well over $500 on these spoons and this silverware. It was a lot. I bought them, uh, estate sale. I think I paid $40 for the whole box. And when four spoons or four forks sell for $70, you know, you found a good find. Um, so these are super heavy, really good condition. They're Oneida. I sold 60 tablespoons for $60 for some tablespoons. All right. We got some software. We've got Adobe photo room, 50 cent find. Um, at a church run estate sale and it sold for $17. So not a big find, but when it's 50 cents, I didn't take the time to look up which software was better than the other. I just know Adobe Photoshop, those always do well. Lightroom does well. So even at a $17 flip, I paid 50 cents. Um, we got some knives. These guys, I just found this weekend at a yeah, an estate sale, paid $10. There was only one sold and they were brand new. They sold for, I think, $150. Um, so I started out at $100 and I went ahead and took an offer of $80 for them. Uh, they are Hilltop Steakhouse uh, steak knives. I mean, they're in really, really good condition. So I can see why they went for $80. Um, I probably could have held out a little longer, but I'm happy to turn $10 into $80 and get it out of my store. Another software here, um, Office Mac 2011. Again, I paid 50 cents. Um, and this one sold for 25. All right, we've got an Osprey, Osprey. I don't know how I'm saying it right. Uh, this was a garage sale find. I paid up at $15, um, but the sell through rate was ridiculous. So I knew it was gonna sell really, really fast. Um, and I took an offer of $50 on it. So. Um, not my happiest margins, but this is going to be super easy. I'm going to stick it in one of my big fat poly bags, like the ones that are like 20 by 20 and mail it in that. So couldn't be easier to ship and it sold really, really quick. We've got a gaming mouse. This was also a $3 bins find. Um, it is brand new. I left it in the Amazon package cause I was kind of peeking around and you can see that it is still sealed. Uh, a lot of times at the bins, I have to take this plastic off because people will just put it back on or Amazon puts it on when they do the returns. When you bring your package to UPS for them to package it, it goes in one of those Amazon bags. I learned that the hard way. So now I know to you know, take the plastic off or be very, very sure that the item is in fact brand new inside that plastic. So this guy, $3.25. And I mean, that's going to be the easiest thing to ship. Stick it in a poly bag. Um, we've got some Arlo security systems. Uh, this guy, I paid $25 at a garage sale. Um, during Black Friday, I was getting a bunch of offers, but I'm like, I'm not Amazon. I can't do Black Friday prices to match Amazon. So I sat on it for a little while, um, and it finally sold for $115. Uh, so everything's in there. I took pictures of everything. It is used, uh, power tested, but I couldn't test like, the full setup because I didn't want to set up all the cameras and the app and all of that. So uh, it looked like it was in good condition. Not too worried. Um, we've got a book in Spanish. I don't know what it says. It's by Robert Green. I typed in that Los 48. I'm not going to try to speak Spanish, but I typed that into eBay and it showed that it was worth grabbing on $3 day at the bins. Sold for 22 bucks. Um, old cameras. I find these all the time. Always, always look these guys up. This is a Pentax. Uh, this one does work. I put new battery in it. I did, um, I don't test it with film. So there's been one time 
that it didn't develop right. And someone said it was coming out too, uh, too bright. So there was something wrong with the camera. I refunded them. One time out of the 100 plus cameras that I've sold. So as long as it's testing with the flash, it's testing with the shutter, you're 99% golden. So that's what I do. I do not test the film cameras with film. And if you wanted to, you could, but that'd be very wasteful. Um, so I just test it with everything else and it worked. Sold for 30 bucks. We got a Victoria's Secret robe. Ooh la la. This one is a silky robe that I found in a free box. I've had it for a while, but it was free and it takes up hardly any space because it's silk. Um, but this Victoria's Secret robe sold for $15. Uh, but like I said, it was free. So I'm happy with anything. We've got a bat. This Easton S500 bat. Um, it is loved for sure. Definitely has some wear and scuffs and scratches. 50 cents. I don't remember where I got it, but it was in my spreadsheet that I paid 50 cents for this. So it sold for $21. Not a huge find. I've got other bats listed for a lot more, but bats are always, any sporting good, always look that up because there's some serious, serious finds in sporting goods. Sad face. This is my last one of these. I found three of them at the same stores I got, or the same um, estate sale that I found all the software. Uh, 50 cents is what I paid for these. I just grabbed them all. This one sold for $39 and I had three of them. So 40 bucks a piece. I could not be happier. And I paid 50 cents a piece. Um, we've got vinyl. This was the weekend of vinyl. I have three of them going out. Um, we've got Ed Sheeran. That one was a garage sale find for a dollar. We've got same sale that I got this one, Neck Deep. I have no idea who they are, but the vinyl is bright orange. It is kind of cool. So, I mean, if I were to ever release an album, I would make it memorable like that. So, that one's bright orange. Uh, that one sold, or hold on, um, Ed Sheeran sold for 37 Neck Deep sold for $18.68, so almost $19. And then we've got Bob Seeger. Bob Seeger, and he sold for $10. The Bob Seeger one was part of a lot that I had. I'm already well into the profit, so every other one that sells is just gravy on top. So uh, these, I love to just pack them with a piece of cardboard. I have big boxes that I get that I'm not going to use for any other items. Break them down and make giant squares. Sandwich it together and just tape the edges. And I've had zero problems with it. Knock on wood. But uh, that's how I ship my vinyls. You can buy expensive boxes or you can make your own. I prefer that. Um, okay, we've got a Wii handle or Wii controller and a nunchuck. I don't remember if this was part of the family bundle or if this was a bundle that I cleaned out when I was in my cleaning up all my um, shelfy thing here. So 20 bucks is what it sold for. And I don't remember what I paid for it, but those always sell. We need some fishing lures. I thought I was going to do better on these. I learned about fishing lures and what I learned, they're not for me. So I was going to separate them all. And as I was going through it, taking pictures, figuring out the names, it was just not bringing me joy. <laughs> it did not. I'd much rather spend time testing fun things. So these little guys, I paid $30. No, I didn't. Uh, I think maybe $20. And there were some others that I did separate and some other parts that I separated. Um, but I've had them for a while, so they did go part of my markdown sale. And it's just a box of lures. Hopefully it makes somebody else very happy. They sold for $33. So not a lot of profit for me, but I'm just happy to get them out of my store and make somebody else happy. Okay, let's get those big guys. We've got an Epson scanner. All right, I'm just going to leave that to the, the magics of my husband to put a picture up. That Epson scanner was a $15 buy at my bin store. And it sold for... All right, it sold for $185. So that was definitely worth grabbing $15 at my bins. Um, and then we got a combo player again. Thanks to husband that will go up here. We have a, um, a Cinevision combo player paid between 10 and 20. I don't remember on that one and I didn't put it in my spreadsheet, um, but it's tested and it sold for $80. 
So that was a good one. Now let's dive over to the three at Macari. Before I do that, I wanted to give you a quick shout out down below is a free download in the description of my free bolo list. If you haven't already, be sure to head down there, click on the link in the description and download a list of top items that I recommend buying for your eBay business. It's called a bolo, be on the lookout, and that's yours free in the description. Okay, Macari three items. This one I cannot sell on eBay. This was an Amazon bins find. I think it was $15 a day and it is a power neck traction thingy. I don't know enough about it, but I knew it tested, it worked, and I put it on Macari. Again, you cannot sell these kind of devices on eBay. I will not risk my eBay business for a measly sale. I'll put it on Macari. It's kind of a gray area over there. Um, they can take it down and they can ding you and all of that, but if I lose Macari, I'm not gonna lose any sleep. If I lose eBay, I'd be out of luck. So I don't risk it, do not risk it. Any kind of medical devices, anything that says prescription, do not put it on eBay. Do not. So this guy sold on Macari for $80. Um, that was an offer. I took an offer, but again, I just want to get it out before they catch on and ding me, right? Um, we've got that pillow that I grabbed. This is a bed gear. Turn it around, Jennifer. Oh, finger stuck. Bed gear flow. Um, it's just a fancy pillow. I typed it into eBay and they were comping out worth grabbing. I paid $10 a piece. I have two of these. Paid $10 and it sold for $85. That was a good find. And I was telling my husband, well, I've got to get the rest of the sticker off, but I was telling my husband, like, I think I even made an offer. Like, <laughs> okay, I feel a little guilty about that. If it's already only $10, I think I said, um, I offered like 15 for both of them. She's like, oh, no, no, I'll leave them for my son if they don't sell, whatever. So I paid the $10 a piece happily and on my way. I go. So no shame in making offers. I mean, the worst they can do is say no. And then in the best case just leaves you more profit margin. And then the last thing on Macari was some makeup. Um, this was also that Goodwill or Savers up in Phoenix. Um, it was in a bag of other beauty supplies. It's new. It's uh, Il, Il Micage. I don't know how you say it. Mil Micage? I don't know. Um, but that is a bottle of foundation sold for $25. Happy with that. All right, my friends. Wow. 27 items for this weekend and early morning. Um, I'm going to get everything all packed up. Oh, I almost did it again. I forgot to tell you the big, big one. I gotta stop doing that. I love to leave you hanging, but then I forget all about it. So my $4 find, okay? This was $4.50 at that church run estate sale where they had everything priced in this kind of department for 50 cents. I got nine of these. Different kinds, different colors. It has something to do with this T8508. Um, it's some kind of fancy printer. Maybe it's that one, the SCP-800. Okay, either way, I just grabbed it. I did not look it up in the store or in the house. I'm just throwing stuff into my bag. Honestly, I thought this was going to be the bottom. Like, maybe these are worth 10 bucks a piece. But, again, when they're 50 cents, I'm just throwing it in my bag. So, rule number one, if you have a chance to just clear a wall of ink and softwares for that cheap, just grab it. Don't waste your time because I knew that I needed to get over to another room to look for another item that was listed in their um, ad. So I just threw it all in my bag, 50 cents a piece. Um, a couple of them are expired, 2022, 2021, um, 2022. Yeah, so some of them are expired. So what I did was in my picture, I had put... Um, I just, I took the screenshot or I took the picture of it and then kind of wrote on your phone, you know, how you can edit the picture on your phone. Um, and I put notes of which ones expired when, uh, and people still buy it. It's not like it's expired from 1990. It's a year old. I'm sure it's still fine in its box. Okay. You guys, this set of ink, nine different cartridges sold for $395. $400 from $4.50. Like, wow. That is why I am a reseller. It is finds like that. The unbelievable things that you think 
All right, maybe five bucks a piece. At first, I thought they weren't, they were generic. Because generic ink never sells. Never buy generic ink. But it said Epson on it. And there's this little seal here that says um, genuine Epson color shiny label. So it had that. It was shiny. It was, it, these are genuine. I just, it didn't look like it at first. So yeah, I went ahead, threw them in the box and threw my bag and went on my way. And to come home to find out there were other solds in the four to 450 range for these kind of lots. And I about fell over. So always, always look up those printer inks. Unbelievable. Even if they're expired, some of those can be some big, big money. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for staying tuned this long. I know it's a good one or a doozy of one. I say it's good because it's my video. But make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you're not already, hit the thumbs up for YouTube to tell it that we like these videos and to send it out to more people. And I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas, a wonderful week with your friends and family. And I will see you all on the next video. Take care.